Each one of us experienced this dynamic phenomenon. A child, adolescent, parent, teacher, student, the elderly, everyone goes through complicare, a Latin word meaning to engage or strike two things together simultaneously. My topic is on conflicts. In psychology, conflict is a pervasive phenomenon that plays a fundamental role in shaping human behavior, relationships and societal structures. Conflicts could be intrapersonal that occurs within oneself or even interpersonal that occurs with other individuals. The father of social psychology, Kurt Levin's famous typology of behavioral conflicts are primarily three in number. Let's understand these types with examples. Approach, approach, conflict. This is interpersonal in nature that occurs within oneself. In this type of conflict, there are two equally desirable goals, but one needs to make a choice. In life, we may be faced with two appealing outcomes, but we need to choose only one of them and we experience a double approach conflict. For example, choosing between two reputed colleges for admission or choosing between two favorite flavors of ice cream. Avoidance, avoidance conflict. This type of conflict is intrapersonal too. Here, the conflict arises when an individual must choose between two equally unfavorable goals. The person is in a dilemma where his choice would lead to a negative outcome causing discomfort. Example, choosing between a surgery or radiation treatment for cancer. Both appear undesirable to a person, but a choice needs to be made. A double avoidance conflict could be experienced by a person who is presently unhappy with a salary or quit and experience unemployment, both of which have undesirable outcomes. Another example would be telling someone an uncomfortable truth or living with a lie. Approach avoidance conflict. This type of conflict occurs when there is a single option having both positive and negative aspects. For example, a student opts for a particular college which has positive aspects like good faculty and amenities and negative aspects like strategically being far away from her home. Yet another example, an employee could get a job promotion with its positive aspect of a salary hike and negative aspect of longer working hours. Double approach, double avoidance conflict. This was not proposed by Kurt Levin though. This type of conflict involves two options each having both positive and negative features. As an example, job one is close by to one's home but pays less. Job two is far away from one's home but pays more. Choosing between these two job options is double approach, double avoidance conflict. Conflicts are of varied types. Today's topic addressed Kurt Levin's typology of conflicts. It is rewarding to resolve conflicts than dissolve relationships. Thank you.